Not giving up. Not giving up. I wish the rain would give him a little bit. I'm telling you, it's getting even more oh, oh, oh. He's not ready. He's not ready. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Look at this fish. Guide him right into the net. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There. Look at this. Well, this is a style of fishing that we're really not used to, but I'll tell you what, it's, it's very effective for these uh, for these brook trout. This is where they seem to be, bud. Yeah. There's a major drop right off this Big side. Rock. You had to portage into this lake. It's about a 10 minute portage into here. That's always kind of cool though. It's like, it's like the hunt, right? It's excellent. You have to be a little bit of a billy goat to rock, walk up the hill, but it was a lot of fun, I'll tell you that much. All we're doing is we're trolling spoons. Our guy Johnny said once in a while, just give it a couple of jerks like that and let it sit. Usually that's when they'll hammer it. Is when, when you're trolling along and your spoon's going at a certain speed and then you just speed it up a little bit, give it a couple of jerks, and they seem to can't resist it. If you're going by one, they're gonna hit it. Where do you go, bud? Where do you go? Oh, I don't know, man, but he's big. He's big. Oh, oh, oh. He ate it too. Look at this guy. Not ready. There. Here, since we're gonna have an opportunity to catch a lake trout, now that thing there should grow to about 20 pounds right there. You get him? Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? But he hammered it. Is but he bleeding that bad or no? No, nope, not at all. So okay. We'll keep him in the lake. And then we'll let him get a little bit bigger and we'll keep one of the trout. All right. See you later, buddy. Off you go. Now, it's a little bit tough because we're fishing fairly shallow. We're trolling in shallow water and you have to have the lines out far enough so you don't spook these fish, which makes your lure drop down and you end up going over top this structure and hooking up into it the odd time and you have to turn around and, and unhook the, uh, the bait. But that's where the fish are. You gotta go where the structure is. That's just the bottom line. When I know I'm gonna come to that shallow spot, I just lift my rod up. Exactly what I do. So my lure comes up higher, then I'll drop it down. There you go. Just like that. I just lift it up over top that structure there, run. But I'm so glad that you convinced oh. me to come in here for this. It's unreal. That is just beautiful. Look at that. This one's beautiful. Look at it. It's pink. Holy. This one's got pink dots on it. Aren't they awesome? Look at the size of them, bud. That's why I saw the silver. See the silver flash on it? It's like a, like a pink hue on it. Get him back in the water. He'll let you know when he wants to go, just like that. Man, I'm oh, glad you convinced me to come in here. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. <laughs> How is this lake for the brookies? I'm telling you, man. You know what? Lodge 88. Let me see what you got him on. Walleye, brook trout, pike. Hey, hey, hey get. <laughs> I can see him from back here, bud. Yeah, good fish. Oh, Ooh. look at this. Look at that. Oh, you got them hooked good, too. Look I at think that. so. That is a Whoa. gorgeous fish. Look at that. Hey, look at the size of these fish, bud. That is just beautiful. I can't I'm believe you. the size of these brook trout. He wasn't coming off, was he? Another pink, gorgeous looking brook trout. Look at that. They are just beautiful fish. When they hammer it, oh. they hammer it. I'm telling you. It's got little gold spots on the top there. Look at it, Ron. Little gold spots. All right, I'm going to get this guy. Back in the water here. When you come up here, make sure that you do one of these outpost brook trout specials here. This is an absolute blast. Oh, there he goes. Absolute yeah. Blast. You know, every fish is different. Look at this one's now less pink, more brown. Hanging around different structure. Oh, did he ever eat it? Look at that. Lots of wood, lots of rocks, sand. They don't like to give up, eh? Do you believe the size of the brook trout in this lake, Leo? Am I ever glad that you convinced me to come to this lake, but I'm telling you right now, because of you, I caught the biggest brook trout I've ever caught in my entire life. Me too. I gotta tell you guys, when you come up here to Lake Esanagi, you come out to Lodge 88, make sure you do come out here for the brook trout. It is an absolutely incredible, incredible day of fishing. Until next week, guys, I'm Leo Stockwell. I'm Rod James, we'll soaking see you wet. Next week on Fish TV. <laughs> Fish TV. Brought to you in part by Nitro. Ignite your passion. Fraybill, innovating the outdoors. And Garmin, get a Garmin and get on fish.